guys and welcome back to Simply Forex, the channel dedicated to you, the trader. We want you to be successful in the markets. So guys, I'm going to give you some gold every day. I'm going to let you know which currency pairs I'm looking to trade and which direction. And I'm also going to let you know which news that you must be aware of. If you like these vids, then please subscribe to the channel and like and share. So let's take a look at the chart and what I'm potentially going to trade today. Morning traders, how are you? It is Wednesday, it's the 30th of March um, and the sun is shining. Um, and guys, uh, please leave a comment below the video. I'd love to hear from you. How's your trading going? Have you got any questions? Yeah, leave a comment. Um, right, we're going to start with a look back at yesterday. We're going to recap yesterday's trades. Um, so if you remember rightly, we had three potential trades. The first one is this. This is the pound against the US dollar, and we were shorting this trade. Okay, it's clearly in a downtrend. Yeah, lower lows, lower lows. Then we've got lower highs. Okay, so it's clearly in a downtrend. And... We had, let me zoom in a little bit, and we had this very bearish candle fall, okay? So all we were trying to do was take price back down to these lows here, okay? I still think this is possible, guys, yeah? We had this large rejection wick here from our grey zone, so I still think we can come down to this blue line. Um, but let's actually look at H1 to see what happened. Um... So as, let me show you something else first, guys. Let's look at H4, okay? So it just goes to show, guys, how much price is attracted to these gray zones, yeah? Look at this candle here, yeah? This bearish H4 candle. You'd be thinking, right, this price is going lower. Yeah, we're gonna make loads of money. It's gonna come down to our blue line. And then we get this green, very, bullish candle form, okay? It just shows that price wants to get to these areas of support and resistance, yeah? Uh, some of the big players will push it towards these levels so they can gather enough entries to take price lower, okay? So, yeah, and as you can see, it come up to our gray zone with this H4 candle. And then, as you can see as well, we had this bearish reaction at that level okay as we expected all right but let's look at h1 to see how that actually played out um so as you can see guys yeah price came up to our gray zone um we had this candle here yeah this uh, bearish candle you could have entered on this one guys but i just waited for more rejection at this level and it was actually the next candle that I entered. I know it's a green candle, but this large rejection wick gave me the confidence to take this price lower. Okay, so I entered here, I put my stop above here, and then I took price all the way down to these last lows here. Okay, all right, so I closed 80% of the trade at this level here. Uh, very successful trade. I'm now 20% left on the trade. I'm going to take it back down to that blue line, the lows on the daily chart. All right, guys. So, yeah, I hope you took this trade. Very nice trade and a very good risk to reward. Yeah, if we take a quick look at that. Yeah, we're risking around 20, 28 pips and our reward was around 60 pips. Okay, so very nice trade. I hope you took that trade. Um, the next one we were looking at was this. This was the pound against the Canadian dollar. It was, it's clearly in a downtrend, guys. Yeah, you can see that. And it, it to be honest with you, it was a little bit oversold. But yeah, we'd, we saw this candle here. Again, very bearish. And so were the last three before that. They were all very bearish. We just, we just told me we could take price a little bit lower down to this blue line. And as you can see, that's what happened. Um, let's look at H1 to get a better view of what happened. So, yeah, as you can see, guys, price broke this grey zone and hit our blue line. 
okay? So it didn't really give us an opportunity to get into the trade here, okay? Uh, but as you can see, price did retrace up into our grey zone. And you could have got back into the trade, but because it hit our blue daily target, I was reluctant to take any more trades on this pair and the fact that it was very oversold, okay? But if you had perhaps gotten in on this candle, yeah, sellers are in control, or this candle, sellers are in control, then you would have had a very nice trade back down to this low and this blue line, okay? So you could have took it, guys, but I was reluctant to it already hit my higher time frame target. Okay, uh, so that was the pound against the Canadian dollar. The last trade was this. This is the Aussie dollar against the New Zealand dollar. Yeah, so as you can see, price had broken this area here. Yeah, had broken these last highs. Okay, and we had this very bullish candle form. Okay, so the idea was just to carry this momentum on up to this blue line. Okay, as you can see, uh, the market had other ideas, but let's see if we actually got in on the trade. Okay, uh, before we do actually, this area now, now price has dropped to this zone, guys. It'll be very interesting to see what happens here. So our grey zone here may still be an important zone to take this back up higher if we get a reaction at this zone here. Okay, um, but let's look at H1 to see what happened on this chart. Um, so as you can see, guys, price came down to our grey zone here, but none of these candles here tell me buyers are in control. Yeah, none of them, all very negative, okay? Um, we do get this candle here that closes back up into our grey zone, but for me, yeah, we've got lower lows on the H1, structure has changed, and the H4 candle will be very uh, bearish, okay? So no entry here, and then it came down with, well, it's now currently at this grey zone, and we still don't have an entry here, guys, as well, yeah? There's no uh, candle that tells me that buyers are in control, okay? But this is a very interesting level on the day chart, so perhaps price could come back up to here. Okay, we shall see if we get a reaction. All right, so no trade on the Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Um, but I hope you took the pound US dollar trade, guys. That was a very, very nice trade. Great risk to reward. Right, let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you found the recap useful, then please smash that like button. Yeah, it really helps support the channel and come and subscribe as well. Okay, so we've got two potential trade ideas for today, Wednesday the 30th of March. The first one is this, this is the pound against the US dollar. Um, so we've been shorting this from yesterday. So yeah, I won't go through everything again, but it's clearly in a downtrend, okay? Um, and we had this bearish candle fall, which is why we entered in this trade yesterday. But now we've also had this large wick that rejected our gray zone. Okay, so I still think momentum is downwards, and I still think we can get back down to these lows here of around uh, 3,000. Okay, um, but let's look at H1 for execution. Okay, so our grey zone uh, hasn't changed that much, the, this, this one here. Okay, but I've also added this one, guys. Okay, so we've got this uh, grey zone here, so price has rechased, retraced into this grey zone. Yeah, so now I'm just looking for a bearish candlestick pattern. Okay, if we get one, then we could take price back down to this low, close 80% of the trade, and then leave 20% to run down to our higher time frame target. Okay, if not, price could retrace up to these last highs here, these last highs here. Okay, and again, if that does happen, we're just looking for a bearish candlestick pattern. That's our trigger to enter the trade. And then we'll take price back down to these lows here, close 80% of the trade, and let 20% run down to our higher time frame target. Okay, um, I've put this grey zone in because potentially it's, look, it's looking like a head and shoulders pattern, guys. Yeah? So you've got the shoulder, the head, the shoulder, Okay, and then potentially it could come back down, yeah, back down here. 
All right, guys. So, yeah, a couple of reasons why I'm looking to take this short. Okay, so pound US dollar. We're looking to short this market as we was from yesterday. The next one is this. This is the pound against the Swiss franc. So more uh, pound weakness. Okay, we don't have a lot of movement here. Um, but as you can see, guys, I, I wanted price to break this low here. Okay, so you can see these lows here. Yeah, this area here. These were lows. Yeah, so price come out from this low here, come up here, created a, a, a higher low didn't create a higher high. And then yesterday, these lows were broke. Okay, so that tells me structure is back in a downtrend. And we had this very bearish candle to confirm that. And all I wanna do is just take price back down to 2,150 guys. Doesn't look like we've got a lot of room to work with, which we haven't, to be quite honest. So we do need a retrace here, guys, to one of our grey zones to make this a, a, a trade worth taking. Okay, but yeah, we're looking pound Swiss franc short. We're looking to short this market. Um, let's look at H1, guys. So as you can see, here's our blue line down the bottom here. Not a lot of room to work with. But if we get a retrace up to here, guys, this is around the 200 mark, 2 200 mark, okay? So this gives us 50 pips down to this blue line, okay? So that's enough, but we do need price to retrace into this gray zone. We wanna see a bearish candlestick pattern form, and then we'll just take 100% of the trade down to our blue line, okay? Price could retrace further, could retrace up into this gray zone. All right, but again, a bearish candlestick pattern. And then we'll take price back down to probably these lows um, and even potentially this blue higher time frame low here as well. All right, guys. So, yeah, pound against the Swiss franc. We're looking to short this as well. So, they're the two trade ideas for today. Um, let's take a look at the news. Guys, if you found this daily morning analysis useful, then please subscribe to the channel and smash that notification button. That way you'll receive an alert every single day and you won't miss a single uh, morning. All right, guys, and please like the channel as well. Um, right, news for today. First of piece of news that we're interested in is this. At 8 o'clock GMT, we've got Lagarde speaking, the head of the European Central Bank. Um, so, yes, yeah, she could move the euro about. So, please be aware of that. If we carry on down, guys, the next three-star rating that we're interested in is this. Yeah, at 12.15 GMT, coming out of the US, we've got uh, non-farm employment change okay so this could move any us dollar pair we also have the gdp 15 minutes later at 12 30 so big news for the us uh, this will also move any us dollar pair if we carry on down um, at 2.30 GMT, uh, coming out of the US, but also affecting the, the Canadian dollar because it's uh, highly correlated with oil. Then we've got crude oil inventories. OK, so, yeah, a lot of eyes will be on this OK, because, as you know, oil price has been quite volatile recently. Um, so, yeah. And as you can see, guys, no other news that we're interested in for the rest of the day. All right, guys. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed the vid, please subscribe, like and share with your trader friends. Um, I hope you have a great, fantastic, wonderful, amazing trading day and I will see you tomorrow.